Okay, so now we will see how we can open maps after the fitting with the script. So we will use on the tools red, green, blue correlator. Then we have to find the path to the folder where the results were saved. So in our case, PyMCA maps. And then we will have one folder per sample. And the output files, they are H5. So for example, here in the sample 16, we have five H5 files corresponding to the five regions which we mapped. So if I take the first one, open. Here, you have to open this fitted, fitted stack, normalize results, and then you select parameters. Okay. So this is the result of the fit of this particular map. So in this case, we add a configuration file with uh, seven elements. We can go over each of them quickly just to see how the elements are present. We can also superimpose up to three elements. So for example, magnesium, aluminum, sulfur. Um, just uh, a small note is that if you want to see only red, green, so two elements, you should pay to should pay attention to the fact that 10% uh, of the male population is uh, colorblind and they cannot see so much red, green. But for them, it's much easier to see magenta, green. So if you just click like this, red, blue together and green for the second element, this is a display which is much easier to, to read for colorblind people. Okay, so if we want to see three elements, red, green, blue, so let's go like this. By default, PyMCA puts the beginning of the map, so the zero, in the bottom part of the map. So if you click on Mona Lisa, you will uh, uh, flip it uh, upside down, which corresponds to the way the map was acquired. Also by default, PyMCA uses uh, the full size of the field of view, but it does not, in this case, the, the pixel is not square. So if you want to have a, a square pixel, you have to click on this small button here. Okay, so what can we do in terms of display? You have the possibility to switch from linear to logarithmic or gamma, in particular to see small details. You have also the possibility to play on the, the scale. So either auto scale, auto scale 5 to 80, 0 to 90. And then you can also decide, for example, in this case, we are interested in the blue uh, particles, but the, 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 these particles are somehow uh, defining the, the maximum of intensity. So if we decrease the maximum for the sulfur element, we may see tiny particles also in the green matrix. Um, you can, if of interest, under this sigma symbol, you have uh, image calculator. So for example, if you would like to do the division of two maps, uh, the, the sum of two maps, if, if, if it makes sense. Uh, so for this, you, if you let the mouse, you see how the calculation, I mean, the equation should be written. The number of the lines should be written into between uh, curly brackets. So for example, if we would like to calculate sulfur divided by silicon, it should be written like this and then calculate, which makes any sense, but anyway, that's, <laughs> that's for the demonstration. And then you have the possibility to either keep the name by default or give, give a new name. So if you want to silicon. An image. So with this add image now, we have a new map in this list of images. If you have created calculations and you don't want to lose them, the best is that to save them at the end. So you either you save the just one as selected, or you can save all of them. In terms of calculation, there is also something which is interesting, which is a scatter plot, which will allow you to see if two elements are correlated or anti-correlated. So for example, we can see if magnesium and sulfur, they correlate. Or I don't know, magnesium and aluminum, whatever. 
Um, yes. You have also do some statistic, uh, some tools for statistical analysis. This is yeah. an MMA Kenny's cluster. Um, if you have, let's say, created an image that you want to save in high quality, you have under the save uh, two options standard and matplotlib. Matplotlib is the one which is giving you the most uh, options for generating a high quality image. So you can add a title. So in this case, this is red magnesium. I think this is green aluminum. Blue silicon, oh, sulfur in this case. You can add the X and Y axis. You can also indicate, as this was the case here, that the pixel is not, for example, one micron, but two microns, such that this scale is now in microns. You can add labels. So for this can be distance in microns. You have plenty of options under this. So you can also change the, you can dis decide to, to focus on a specific part of the map. And, and then if you say you will have this as a JPEG or TIFF, PNG, no, PNG, EPS, CSV, CSVG formats. You can zoom in, zoom out. <laughs> 